Good afternoon, Monarchs. Um, this is Miss Hill, your principal, and I wanted to take a moment to reach out to all of my seniors um, and to let you know that we really miss you here at the Monarch, not just myself, but all of our teachers, all of our staff, um, everybody that's associated with Manzano. We really do miss you and hope you've been doing well. I wanted to reach out with just a couple of um, informational points for you. Um, as we finish out this school year, I want you to know that I acknowledge that how your senior year came to an abrupt stop um, was really unfortunate. And as a result of that, we weren't able to um, have all of the different celebrations that we had planned for you. Please know we are working really hard to put together some virtual um, recognition ceremonies that will be in your honor and we're very excited about how that is going to come out so please visit our social media pages twitter instagram also our school website we will update you with any information and they'll be posted there also i want to encourage you to finish out the year strong you have every opportunity to pass your classes you have until May 21st to do so, so please continue to work hard. Um, if you are already doing well, I want you to stay connected with your classmates, with your teachers, and really remember that this time is about um, keeping in contact with each other and maintaining those uh, relationships that we have built. It's um, not the ideal end of the year, way to end the year, but that's what we're dealing with and I have no doubt that we will all rise together and we will come out of this uh, stronger and ready to tackle anything that comes our way in the future. So please know I'm so proud of you. Um, continue to work hard, finish strong, and go Monarchs. Hi everyone, your counseling team is here. We first want to say that we miss you all very much and we hope that you're safe and you're healthy. The next thing we want to say is we'd really love to hear from you guys. Whether you need to talk about the upcoming school year, what's going on right now, ask about resources, or just need to vent, we're here for you. Um, please feel free to reach out to us on our emails, which should be on an upcoming slide. You can contact us and we will email you back within 24 business hours, Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 2.30. And we will either set up a Google Hangouts or a phone call, whatever works best for you and your families. But we are here for you and we love you. Go Monarchs! Woo! What you get out of the next five and a half weeks solely depends on what you put into it. This journey is not new for just some of you. It's a new adventure for all of us. The key to successfully finishing this year strong is communication. This means taking ownership of your learning and initiating contact and participation with your teachers who are available for guidance, answering questions, and providing feedback. You may run into barriers or situations that extend beyond your academic classes. And again, communication is key. Whether it's credits, scheduling, transcripts, mental health, food, resources, your counselors are ready and available to support you. Don't be afraid to ask for help from any staff member. We are in this together. Our goal is to support the well being and success of each and every one of you. Hey seniors, I just wanted to say I know things right now are can be scary, they're confusing, um, you're probably worried about your family safety, maybe your own, you're feeling a bit sad, feeling some FOMO about prom, about sporting events, graduation, but we, your Manzano counselors, just want to let you guys know that we're committed um, to being present every step of the way and helping you guys in whatever ways we can. And I know that we're all experiencing a variety of different emotions right now. However, we are hopeful and confident that the class of 2020 will be the first ever to graduate 100% of their seniors. And we will also continue remaining positive and optimistic about the future. And I know together we can do this. We can get through all of this. Hello, Mighty Monarch Seniors. This is Counselor Alicia Diaz Bowl. How are you? Okay, I have lots of announcements. Listen up. Okay, first of all, seniors who were not passing classes as of April 8th when we left, you need to contact your teachers ASAP. Work with them, email them, catch up. The cl classes will now be graded as P for pass or N for no pass, no credit. So, Please pass your classes. 
You have until May 21st to pass your classes. If you do not pass your classes, you will have to go to summer school or return to school next year. We want a 100% graduation rate, Monty Monarchs, please. Okay, those seniors who were passing their classes, all of them, you will be receiving a P on your transcript for pass. Please continue to work with your teachers for further instruction and call or email your counselor to make sure you are on track to graduate. One another big announcement is there will be no finals. Yay. Okay, Monarchs, keep working. Stay safe, stay healthy. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations, you guys are almost there. So please, please, please um, finish out the year strong. This is Rhonda Harper, your college and career counselor, and I hope that this finds you well and that your families have stayed healthy and you all are safe. I have a lot of information that I have to get through fairly quickly, so I'm gonna get started. The final next step plan. So we do not have confirmation as of yet that the New Mexico Public Education Department has waived that requirement. So we are hoping to hear within the next week and as soon as I hear something, I will send that information out to you. So please make sure that you're checking your emails and your um, voice messages on your phone. Um, if they do not waive that requirement, then we will put a plan in place to get those final next step plans out to you so that you can get signatures and have the opportunity to return them to me. AP testing. As you know, AP testing has um, gone to all online. The testing schedule is still set for May. Um, it is the same schedule. So if you signed up for an AP test, you should have received an email from me last week that detailed all that information. That information is all on the um, Manzano website under the counseling tab, and then there's a, a tab for AP exams. So please go and look at that information if you signed up to take an AP test. Okay, senior exit survey. So we will be sending out the senior exit survey within the next week. Um, it will close at the end of April. We still wanna honor all the amazing things that you guys have done and all the scholarships and the money that you've received for college. So please be looking for that as well. That will come out as a link. Okay, FAFSA. So if you have not completed your FAFSA yet, you need to get in touch with me right away. So my email address is Rhonda, R-H-O-N-D-A dot Harper, H-A-R-P-E-R at APS dot E-D-U. Email me right away and let's get started on the FAFSA. The reason is, is that the UNM Lobo Promise that just came out about a month ago, if your family makes less than $50,000 a year, and you have completed your FAFSA by April 30th and applied to UNM and been accepted, your first year at UNM will be paid for for free. So we definitely need to get on that. It is not too late to apply for college. It is not too late to apply for CNM or UNM or NMSU or New Mexico Tech. If you do apply, please let me know so I can let our reps know and they will waive your college application fee. Okay, um, the website. Please make sure that you're, that you're looking at the Manzano website under the counseling tab. We have lots of resources, which I'm sure that the counselors went over, but also there's a lot of college and career information, AP testing information, and FAFSA information. Again, my email address is Rhonda, R-H-O-N-D-A dot Harper, H-A-R-P-E-R at A-P-S dot E-D-U. Please make sure that you're reaching out to me. I'd love to hear from you guys. And again, I hope you guys are doing well. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello, Manzano students. The counselors miss you and hope that you and all of your friends and family members are healthy and safe during this challenging time. We are reaching out to let you know that we're here for you and your family. Please do not hesitate to reach out to your counselor if there is anything we can do to assist you or your family in the days to come. If you or a loved one is experiencing any kind of emotional crisis, mental health, or substance use concern, please call the Crisis and Access Line for support and resources. It is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The staff answering the calls are clinical professionals. Another option is to call the peer-to-peer -peer warm line to connect with a peer. Both resources can be found on our counseling page on the Manzano website. With regard to food resources, there are several weekly food resource distributions. Please contact your counselor for further information about locations and the days of the week that they are available 
Our next monthly Manzano drive through food pantry is Friday, April 17th. Please save the date. We're all in this together. Even if we can't be in the same room together, have a great first online week of school. Yeah! Hey Monarchs, Christine Lloyd Old here, your Crossroads counselor. Every day brings a new challenge. And I'm confident that all of us in this mighty monarch community will rise up to meet the challenges that we face each day. And I believe that we will be successful in doing so. During this journey of your online learning, I encourage you to create a to-do list and prioritize your workload in your classes so that you can be successful. If you are struggling with motivation or you need support, please reach out to us. Your Manzano counselors are here for you. We care about you and we will gladly help you um, come up with a plan to help you get motivated or to help you um, pass your classes. The other thing I wanted to share with you all is that there is no time for procrastination. We have five and a half weeks of school left, so it's super important that you give 100% and finish the semester strong. I know and I believe in every one of you that you can do that. Lastly, the thing, other thing I wanted to share with you is about self-care. During this time of uncertainty and, and really high stressful situations, it's important that we're taking care of ourselves good care of ourselves. And so I have three suggestions for you that you can do at home to do good self-care. The first thing you wanna make sure that you're doing is getting enough sleep. Sleep is really important. And without enough sleep, um, we can get super stressed out and it can cause us to have more um, anxiety than we need to. The other thing that is super important is that you're taking the time to do some physical activity. Um, if you can get 30 minutes in a day, that would be great. Um, this is good for your mind and your body and your spirit. And the last thing that you should do every day is to laugh. Um, laughter is often the best medicine. And so if you can find something that you enjoy and love doing every single day and find that happiness, I believe it will go a long way. I wish each of you well, and I hope that you are taking extra good care of yourselves. So it's goodbye for now, but we'll see you in the fall. what up big dogs robin here student body president what up um <laughs> i know these past couple weeks have been very confusing very hard for a lot of us but i hope everyone is in good health and your families are doing well and everyone is catching up on some well needed sleep um i know i am anyways welcome back so this is going to be kind of a learning process for all of us it's going to be a way for us to finish the school year without having to be together because of obvious reasons. Basically, we're going to be switching over to distance, distance learning, which is going to be all online. You're going to have an assignment on Monday and you're going to have the entire week to do it until the following Sunday, which it'll be due by 1159 that evening. Teachers are using email. Google Classroom, um, there's gonna be Zoom calls, Google Meets, a bunch of stuff to help you guys with the rest of your school year. Teachers are not allowed to assign anything new. It all has to be built off of what we already know. So you don't have to stress out about learning new content. Right now it's just about turning things in, getting the credits you need so that you can move on to the next year. I know our school year was ripped out from underneath us abruptly, and unfairly, but we have no control over it. So we're gonna try to make the best out of a terrible situation. <laughs> um, so we're here now, just letting you guys know what's gonna happen for the rest of the next five weeks, I believe. 
the rest of the video will explain everything. But anyways, that's essentially what's going to happen. Just to reiterate, Mondays will be the day that you get your assignment. There will be scheduled times throughout the days for the rest of the week for you to interact and talk to your class and your teacher, which we're going to be calling office hours like they do in college. And then the following Sunday at 11.59, your work will be due. And that's essentially how the school year is going to go. Really weird, really different. Again, it's a learning process, but I hope everyone can understand the situation that we're in. And this is the best solution for all of us right now. So please keep yourself safe, keep yourselves healthy. And here is to Natalie. All right, hello everyone. Welcome to my room, um, my crib, whatever you want to call it. Um, hope you all are doing good. Uh, class officer elections start today. Um, voting starts today. Hopefully you've been seeing the candidates posting on social media and um, today's the time. The time it's, it's, it's time to vote, but today's just class officers. Don't get it twisted, the student body officer. So today you will be allowed one vote per position and you can only vote for the people in your class. So freshmen, you'll be voting for your, who's gonna be the officers in, when you become sophomores and then sophomores you'll be voting for the officers that'll be officers when you're juniors and then juniors you'll be voting for kevin who's running unopposed once you cast your vote you can't go back and re-vote and the link for voting will be um up everywhere it'll be it'll be attached to like the candidates posts um i'm sure and if it's not there then you can go to either the Instagram or the Twitter. Uh, the Twitter is at Manzano Monarchs and the Instagram is at Manzano High School. So yeah, be sure to be following those. We're doing senior shout outs and other things, important news. Um, how you vote, your username will be your student ID, your student ID number and the password is your birthday. And you must include the slashes every year. We have issues because we're like, oh, it's not working, but you gotta put the slashes. So for example, uh, my username would be my student ID and then my password would be three slash 30 slash 2002. So you put the month slash the day slash and then the full year. So 2001, 2003, 2002, I don't, I don't know what years everyone was born. And then student body officer, elections will be taking place on april 24th voting will start then um and anyone can vote for that it's like uh, the whole student body so uh we have a, a lot more people running um and you'll be voting for who's gonna take my place johnny's place and robin's place so that's important you guys want to get your voice out there get your votes out there and uh pick who you want to uh be leading your school. I hope you all are uh, doing well. Um, I hope this uh, corona time is um, going okay for you. I hope you all are keeping yourselves busy. Um, I, good luck every to everyone when school starts this week. Um, it's, it's not over yet, so make sure you keep your uh, yourself on task with finishing your assignments and things of that nature. All right, this is getting really long. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for listening. Hey, guys. It's Johnny, your student body vice president. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know it's been a really crazy four months, and especially now, we're not used to staying inside, but here we are. Um, I know isolation can be difficult for most people. We're like social creatures and stuff like that. So make sure to take care of your mental health. I know a lot of people struggle with this, and this is a great time for us to keep in contact with each other and find activities and staying proactive is important to keeping our mental health up. So during this time, we have the ability to focus on getting better within ourselves. And if we take that time, we can come out stronger than we were before. Um, this school year, we've shown our resilience and our togetherness. Now we have to continue moving forward regardless of the circumstances. So I ask you guys to take care of yourselves and take care of others. Thank you, Monarchs.